Today I'm going to be showing you how to install add-ons to World of Warcraft Classic. Now the way I'm going to be showing you is going to work on World of Warcraft Classic and also World of Warcraft Rat of the Lich King Classic. So it will work for either one. If you're playing Classic Era, it's going to work for that. If you're playing Rat of the Lich King, it's going to work for that one also. I will be putting timestamps into this video so you will be able to follow exactly how I do it. If you do get confused, you'll be able to use timestamps to go back to the time of where I was showing a certain step. And I'll also be putting the steps down in the description so I'll have the numbers so you know exactly where to go at what time. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you have to do is exit the game. You cannot install new add-ons if you're in the game. So all you have to do is go back out to the main menu. So the second thing you're going to do is come over to the blizzard.net screen. So when you're on this screen, you're going to come over to World of Warcraft Classic, go down to the little cog wheel, press on it and go to show in Explorer. So now that you clicked on show and Explorer, this screen is going to pop up. So there's going to be two different versions that you can click on classic and classic era. Now, if you're playing classic era, which is literally just the base game of World of Warcraft, you're going to be clicking on classic era. But if you're playing a Wrath of the Lynch King, you're going to be going into classic. Now, as you can see, both folders are the exact same. But once you go into the game that you want the add ons on, you're going to go down to interface. And when you click onto that, you're going to go into add ons. And that is where you can install your add add-ons so the website that i use to download the mods or add-ons is cursed forge all you have to do is go to cursedforge.com click onto it and you will see a lot of mods right in front of you now you're going to be going to the world of warcraft section once you click on that you'll then be looking at this screen right here so all you have to do is go down to the mods that you want now i would recommend going down to the popular mods because these are the mods that people use now once you go into that page you'll then be able to pick the mods that you want now you can download them straight away but i would not recommend this what you would need to do is click on the mod itself when you're in on the mod page you'll need to come down to the game versions and then you'll have to select the game version that you want now you can see right here that i can install the latest mod which was uploaded on december 1st and the flavors or game versions is for classic and Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So that's the one that you're going to download. So all you have to do is click on the most recent version for your, the game that you're playing, and then you'll be able to click on download. And once the add-on is downloaded, all you have to do is click on the folder. You will see Questy is right there. So you're going to load up your add-ons folder. Then you're going to see the Questy folder, and all you have to do is drag it in. That's all you have to do and then you will have the questy mod straight away and the thing is i already had the questy downloaded so now it's asking me do i want to replace or skip files now if you downloaded a brand new version of the add-on and you want to update your add-on all you have to do is go to replace the files in this destination once you replace them files you will now have the up-to-date version of questy or any of the other add-ons that you installed and there you have it that's all you have to do you now have add-ons in your world of warcraft game and just to show that this did work i'm going to go into the game right now i'll just load up on one of my characters just to see that questy has been installed or the newest version of questy has installed on my pc so i'll be going in on my um my main character right now and when i load in questy is going to be installed up to date and everything is just going to work the way it's supposed to work so you just see down in the corner there that is literally just updating all of the stuff for questy because it is a new version of the add-on but once that's all updated and loaded into the game it will be working for us just taking a little longer than i thought it would so i'm just rambling right here but you can see that any second now questy is just going to update you can see that questy db update complete and then we will be able to use questy right now you see that i just popped up into the corner of my screen there and i now can use questy so it's very nice to have and i hope this tutorial helped you if it did please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the next video thank you and goodbye